Hello, and welcome to XRD for the Modified Iron and Copper Lab. Um, first, I'm going to show you the sample prep procedure, which is very straightforward for these samples. Um, here we have a few different sample holders that we use for different types of samples. Uh, the one on the left happens to be an airtight domed holder for uh, powders that might react with air. Um, sorry, we have a little glare here. In the middle is a, a standard powder holder. This one you can see has a well in it where the powder gets packed into. And then the one on the right is actually our custom made holder for holding uh, one inch by one inch uh, slides or squares of our metal in this case. So our preparation is very simple where we will just place one of these samples in, if I can get the glare off of it. We place one of our samples in the holder um, and it's held in there such that if we spun the sample around it won't fly out. Uh, and these sample holders are magnetic. They have a couple little magnets built into them so that they also won't fly off if we are spinning them. The instrument itself, this is one of two XRDs that AMSEC has. Uh, this is our high throughput benchtop system. It's a Rigaku Miniflex 600G and um, it is a high throughput system with an 8 position auto sampler. If we open the door we can look inside. The door is locked at all times and will beep whenever it is open so unfortunately we cannot get rid of that. Um, looking inside the system itself, we have our x-ray tube over here on the left. Um, there's nothing really to see there, just so you know where the source is. There's a number of slits that are built into the system uh, that, that constrain the size of the x-ray beam. In the middle, you can see our 8 position sample, auto sample carousel. And then on the right, we go on to um, another set of slits and the detector is over here. Um, so the x-rays will come out, diffract off the sample, and go to the detector for um, counting how many x-rays were diffracted. And then the detector and the auto sampler will actually tilt and rotate about the center of the sample to uh, change the angles.